Number 12, another long one. This world, after reset, has been run by the mob slash mafia with the Chinese triad currently on top The United States and England are dying death by a thousand cuts now as payback for two, count them, two opium wars perpetrated upon the Tartarians. Wow, that was a lot. Let's try to break that down, shall we? This world, after reset... When these guys talk about reset... They're referring to the mud flood that supposedly covered the world. That's their reset. Has been run by the mob slash mafia with the Chinese triad currently on top. The Chinese triads are the term that we give to the organized crime syndicates based in and around greater China. Their modern iteration more or less was established after the Chinese Communist Party overtook mainland China in the late 40s, early 50s. I don't know what they have to do with the Great Flood, but I can't wait to find out. The United States and England are dying death by a thousand cuts now as payback for two, count them, two opium wars perpetrated upon the Tartarians. The Opium Wars were two wars waged between the Chinese and the British Empire in the mid-19th century over, among other things, opium. The Tartarian Empire is itself its own can of worms, as it is said by Mudflood people, to be this grand Atlantean-style empire that had advanced technology and blah blah blah, and somehow was wiped out by a big mud flood. So, if we take all this information into account, a super advanced civilization was taken out by mud, and then somehow, 20 years later, Britain got into a war with China over some drugs, and then some 70 years later, Chinese gangs decided to attack Britain because of that original mud flood, opium conversation, and America's also in the mix for some reason as well. Okay, that makes sense. They call it the century of shame in China, 1900 to 2000. Because they were lied to, stabbed in the back, and treated like dogs, worse than dogs. Okay to let the Japanese go kill them. And now it's payback time. Zero percent of your explanation has anything to do with the Great Reset, the Tartarian Empire... Chinese triads being on top, any of that. I No one's making the claim, to my knowledge, that the Asian nations were ill-treated, mistreated, mid-19th century and on. No one's making that claim. But you're trying to connect that to your weird-ass mud flood theory with the Tartarian Empire, and you fail to make that connection. You're failing to provide any evidence. What we've got here is... Failure to communicate. Number 11. The United States used to be Egypt. Say what? All the worlds up there around the North Pole connected together real close. Stones and Aaron Zephod from all what we call continents. And the United States used to be Egypt. That will answer a lot of questions for you. Linked below is a video made by a fellow YouTuber, Rider of Dinosaur. Throw him a sub if you want. All going over this America-Egypt bullshit. He did it well. I see no point in me redoing his words. To number 10. Jerusalem, I believe, is under the Sahara Desert at this present time in Africa. And that it used to be the blooming great gardens of king david the apple of god's eye you think shit just can't get any weirder but we keep on going i'll be back Uh and the other things they find that have some jewish mimotos it could have been the half tribe of manasseh or gad whoever built a replica the 10 tribes they had a kingdom there was a lot going on there 
I think here he is trying to connect the ten lost tribes of Israel with the African Hebrew Israelites of Jerusalem movement that is kind of foundational in America. I don't know where he's moving the city and how that movement is undergoing, but the people that I'm assuming he's getting his argument from would disagree. The African Hebrew Israelites want to return to Israel in its location. They're not venturing around the Saharan desert looking for whatever the hell he's talking about. So I think he's an island into himself with this opinion, which is a pretty common trend here, right? Hence why he's kicked out of the church, I guess. Hmm. Really makes you think. Numb. Number nine, this causes a lot of trouble because people want to go, I believe Jesus was a brown man, dark tan. No, I believe Jesus was what would we could consider a black man today. He, a black man today. Jesus. I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Number eight, some foods were symbolically treated as unclean, but are now acceptable for all to eat. You may think he's trying to make a dispensation, Jewish versus Christian conversation here, or maybe you're thinking he's going to try to argue that the unclean foods for the Jews are now somehow clean for some reason, for the Jews. <laughs> you are way off from what his topic is. Unclean? is what dead bodies, ejaculate, menstrual blood, those things are always are unclean and will cause a person who comes in contact with them to be not only ceremonial unclean, physically unclean. To start, I'm assuming he's talking about like human dead bodies or maybe decayed bodies because it's kind of hard to eat meat without touching a dead carcass first. But onto the more fun side of his argument here. Eating ejacula and menstrual blood are not necessarily common things. I don't think they've ever really been common things. Sure, you can do it. Links below if you want to enjoy that trip. But the Bible doesn't talk about either of these things. So where is he getting this argument from? Oh, <laughs> let's find out. You're unclean. You miasma, fist pumping, unclean spreading, should have a veil over your mouth crying leper when you come out because you're addicted to masturbation. What in the goddamn? Oh my God, it's so great. I have to end the episode on that. No, wait, that just give me, just give me one more go at it. You're unclean, you miasma, fist pumping, unclean spreading, should have a veil over your mouth crying leper when you come out because you're addicted to masturbation. For all the body you need, try new herbal essences, natural volume.